Okay, we're up. Got a little wind from the left. We're out here in Amish country out in uh, Sugar Creek. A little bouncy out here right now. A lot of bouncy right now. Actually, that was really rough field out there. So, anyway. Out here, most of this property is all Amish. David is above me. Oh, there's the train uh, station over here. Small locomotives. Do about 24 miles an hour, about uh, 318 feet off the ground. Uh, it's a little cool out here. Straight ahead is a old antique train and locomotive station. Pretty bumpy out here. It's about uh, almost six o'clock, about five fifty-five. Go down here and take a look at the train station. There's a big old pumpkin down there and some pumpkins, pumpkin patch and pumpkins. Whole bunch of pumpkins. The old trains. Got a United States Army train down there. Small cabooses. Big old pumpkin down here. Pretty cool.
I think years ago I came out here and rode one of these trains for a while. It's been about 20 years. There's a wind sock down there. See if I can find David. I'm going to follow him around. Quite a bit of lift there. It's like a putt putt golf course over here and a, uh, a place to hit balls. Two hundred and forty four feet. While I'm following David here I can talk about this area. It's all Amish area and uh, a lot of tourists come out here. This isn't the main attraction but it's the start of it. Uh, they've got one of the largest uh, horses, uh, draft horses in the world out here. Uh, Big John and he's pretty cool. Stand up beside him. He's, I'm six foot. He's, I don't know what he is, but he's huge. Three hundred two feet. Just follow David. He knows his way. He lives right over here uh, in the Amish community. He works at a, uh, a furniture store. Or a furniture, he builds furniture, and that's where he learned to build his props and his wood props and so forth. I'm flying the Dudek wing today. There are some horses down there, draft horses, and they're uh, tilling the hay, and they're pulling with horses. I don't want to get too close to them because uh, I don't want to scare the horses. They're usually pretty good. Those horses really mind. beautiful day. Today is Monday. I think I said I was flying my dude echoing today. It's a uh, 34. And I'm uh, 384 pounds total on a good day. So this wing, uh, I'm up about 85, 90%. So I'm good on the wing. 
got the trim set at three. It'll go all the way out to uh, 24 centimeters. You can uh, fly the brakes on 12, but uh, after you uh, go further than 12, then you're you're going to have to use your uh, wingtip steering to reflex wing. Catching a little bit of thrust off of David's trike. For those that don't know it, I went to uh, like junkies, that's where I trained. I bought my equipment for flight junkies, and I uh, and then about after a year, a little over a hundred hours, I swapped out of my Power Atlas and went to the Dew Deck, running a fly pod, being pushed by a monster, fresh breeze monster. Not too familiar with this area, so it's uh, interesting. Uh, I want to look around a lot, but I also want to keep uh, the camera somewhat focused so that it doesn't uh, get jerked all over the place. But uh, here's a house with a fireplace already going. It is getting cool, getting down in the 30s at night. Had frost the other day in some locations. We're going to head over to New Bedford. Check that area out, as well as go over to. Uh, where David works. I think I said that already. Uh, why is it every time I come up here flying, uh, I smell uh, chicken or burgers or something really good up here? Amish kids on a horse. Wave to them. Get some rotor off. 